Hi. In this video, I will assemble the mutancy version, new version, it's version 2 from scratch. So there are uh, six parts excluding the battery. So let's assemble. So this is the new top body. Now this is there is a nut here. Yeah. No, put this one. There is two stoppers. This is the close position, and this is the open position. Okay, now. This is the display. It's a Chinese brand display, like no brand. So I put two uh, double sided tape here. Let's pull it out. This is 10 pin 1 millimeter pitch uh, FCP cable. So, this is a SPI di uh, display. Here, yeah, you can see there is two LEDs right now. I didn't solder the third one so this one is for power this one is for showing the keyboard layout there is two layout in the keyboard uh, if you trigger the another one second one this one will light up so now put the this is the top part of the display now see there is two gaps here now if you put the top part of the display then it will stop right here The top part is now here. Now it's pretty smooth after you put the top part. I hope you can hear the sliding mechanism. Sometimes it got gets rough. Okay. Now put the PCV, the main PCV. Let's put it aside. Uh, this is the new PCB so all the buttons here are SMD right now currently uh, this is the 10 pin sorry 16 pin uh, FPC connector the new thing for version 2 is this STEMA connector this one now you can connect uh, a, the STEMA QT and QC uh, STEMA from Adafruit and QC from a Spark Fun, the iSCRC devices right here. I didn't solder it up because I don't have uh, any devices right now. So this is the two shoulder button. 
and this is the 40 pin GPIO for Raspberry Pi this is um, a SparkFun Pro Micro this is the circuit for switching on and off the mutancy this is the expansion for port this is the booster and this one is the uh, charging module and this is the battery I just um, tape it up yeah let's put this one There is three screws, one, two, three. Now we'll put the Raspberry Pi. I'm using a old part just cut it out because I didn't have enough time to print it out the new one so also you can directly solder the USB data pin in the PCB This is how it looks. Now we will put the battery here. Also, the threads in the p uh, printed part are not that good, so don't try to open and close like screw in and screw out so many times. I think like more than f five is enough. Like if you do too many times, the thread will go away. So put this here. Now this thing will attach to this here, this, there is a uh, clutch here, I don't know what to call it, yeah. So this thing will uh, go through, go under this area, okay. See it, it atta attached here yeah. and this put these cables. Yeah, this is how it looks. This is the USB C, this is the, all the ports from the Raspberry Pi, this is for the battery charging this this is the two shoulder buttons and here is there is nothing also there is a battery cover i didn't print it out okay let's screw these three yeah now boot it up
full eight boots. Yeah. Yeah, this is core stuff. Yeah, the touch skin is working. Let's shut it down. After the Raspberry Pi shuts down, you click this button. You click this button. Then it will count three seconds. Two, three. That turns off. Yeah. Thanks for watching.